Okay, so we need to be able to sketch graphs. So what we need to know is a graph crosses x when y equals 0. And it crosses y when x equals 0. So in order to work out um, what the graph looks like, we need to know where it crosses the x-axis, where it crosses the y-axis, and what shape it is. So this graph here is a quadratic graph um, because you should be able to recognize it, but if we expand it, we'll get x squared minus 2x plus 3x, so plus 1x minus 6. So it's a quadratic graph, it's a quadratic graph, and it's positive, the x squared is positive, so it's going to make a U shape. So we should recognize it's a quadratic graph, and it's going to make that parabola U shape, um, smiley face some people say, so we're going to have this kind of shape. And then we're going to work out where it crosses the axis, and that's all we need for a sketch. So let's do this, crosses x from y equals 0. So if y was 0, if we had 0 here, we'll have x plus 3 and x minus 2. So this is already in the format we need to solve it. We don't need to factorise it. It's already factorised. So we just read off the answers. So x can be negative 3 or x can be 2. So it's going to cross at negative 3 and at 2. Now it crosses x. I've done that one, crosses x when y is 0, we've done that, crosses y when x is 0, so we'll substitute in 0 to the x, so we'll have 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 2, which is 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6, so it's going to cross at negative 6, and then all we've got to do now is get the shape right, which will be something like this. It's not perfect, but um, that's kind of what all we have to do for a sketch. So we get the points where it crosses the x-axis, we get the points it crosses the y-axis, and we get the shape right. And that's all we've got to do for a good sketch of a graph. Okay, so here's another graph. It's another quadratic graph. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to say it crosses x when y is 0. And it crosses y when x is 0. And again, it's going to have that parabola shape. Positive um, x squared graph. So it crosses x and y is 0. So we'll make y equal to 0. And then we need to solve this equation. So it's a quadratic. Easiest thing to do is factorize. And this one will factorize because it multiplies to make 15 and adds to make a 2. So it's going to be a 5 and a 3 plus 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Positive 5 times a negative 3 is a negative 15. So x equals negative 5 or a positive 3. So negative 5, positive 3. And it crosses y when x is 0. So we'll substitute x is 0 in. 0 squared, that's 0, plus 2 zeros, still 0, minus 15. So minus 15. And again, we get the shape right. Again, not perfect, but we've got the vague shape right and the two points it crosses the x-axis and where it crosses the y-axis. So that's a perfectly good sketch. Okay, so this one is no longer a quadratic. It's a cubic. If we expand the brackets, which I'm not going to do, um, it would give us an x-cubed. Actually, I will do it. So um, 
we we'll expand the first bracket, x times x is x squared. x times 1 is just 1x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 1 is 5. So that gives us x squared plus 6x plus 5 times x minus 2. And then we expand again. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times minus 2, negative 2, negative 2x squared. 6x times x is 6x squared. 6x times negative 2 is negative 12x. 5 times x is 5x. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So simplifying x cubed, um, minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4x squared. Minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7x's and minus 10. So we can see it's an x cubed graph. So a positive x cubed, x cubed is positive. It starts at the bottom and goes up. So it's going to make this shape. So, and the same again, crosses x when y is 0. So if y was 0, we'll have x plus 5, x plus 1, x minus 2. So the answers are x equals minus 5, x equals minus 1, and x equals 2. So it's going to cross at minus 5, minus 1, and 2. And then it crosses y when x is 0. So that's going to give us 0 plus 5, which is 5, 0 plus 1, which is 1, and 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times a negative 2 is a negative 10. So it's going to cross down here at negative 10. So do the sketch. So we're going to start at the bottom, up, down, and up again. Again, a poor, a poor attempt. So I've actually missed the points I was aiming for. But we've got the shape right and we've got the points right where it crosses. Okay, another one. So um, it's another cubic, another positive cubic. So we're looking at that shape again. And we need to know where it crosses the axis. So crosses x when y equals 0. So 0 equals x cubed plus 5x squared minus 14x. So how do we solve this? Well, we can factorise out an x. So we'll start with that. We'll get x on the outside, which gives us x squared plus 5x minus 14 inside. And now we can factorise this Bigger, this big bracket into two smaller ones. So still x on the outside, x in both brackets, multiplies to make 14, adds to make 5, 7 and 2, positive 7, take away 2, 7 take away 2 is 5, 7, positive 7 times a negative 2 is a negative 14. So the answers, x equals 0, so that's going through the origin, x equals negative 7 minus 7 and x equals 2. So we have the minus 7 and we'll have the 2. And then we need to know, or we don't, we already know where it crosses the um, or we know where it crosses the y-axis, but I'll write it anyway. So crosses y when x equals 0. So we'll have 0 0 cubed plus 5 lots of 0 squared minus 14 zeros, which is going to be 0. We already knew that. So then we just need to get the shape right. So we start at the bottom, go up, down, and up again. So again, we just need the points that crosses the axis and the right shape. That's all we need for a sketch. Okay, so here we've got another question. Uh, maybe pause the video and give this one a go. Okay, so we've got another cubic function. Um, 
it's a positive cubic, so it's going to make, again, this shape, starting at the bottom and going up. If it was negative, it would start at the top and go down. But that's not what we've got here. We've got the positive cubic. And we need to know where it crosses the x-axis and crosses the y-axis. So it crosses x when y equals 0. So if y is 0, we've got x cubed minus 9x squared plus 18x. So we're going to factorise out the first x. So that gives us x squared minus 9x plus 18. And then we're going to put this into two brackets. So x in both. What multiplies to make 18 and adds to give a negative 9. So we're going to have uh, minus 3 minus another 6. So minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9. Negative 3 times negative 6 is a positive 18. So x is crossing at 0, at 3, and at 6. So 3 and 6. We already know where it's going to cross the y-axis um, because it's going through 0, 0. If I substitute it in 0, I could do crosses y when x is 0. It would be 0 cubed, which is 0, minus 9 zeros, plus 18 zeros. It would be 0. So let's sketch it. I'm going to make this shape, so a positive cubic. So it's going to go up, down, and up again. And that's all you've got to do to sketch the graphs.